So the video that I plan to put up this week, I didn't finish reading for it in time. I'm trying to think of something very last minute where I don't really have to read anything for but I can make a video on. Because if y'all are new here, most of the videos on my channel actually involve me reading books and not just talking about books. I know I could just talk about books but fortunately for me, Pages with Paige uh, could somehow sense my distress and she tagged me in a D&D book tag, which is nine questions about books that is loosely based on the idea of D&D. Now this book tag was created by Jim's Creeps and Geeks and Ashley's Bookish Life. So I have all three of them tagged down below, but I thought, hey, I haven't done a book tag in like four years. Why the hell not? Let, let's do a book tag. Although the questions on here are D&D based, like it's a D&D book tag, the questions are D&D based. The books you choose to answer the questions don't necessarily have anything to do with D&D and you don't really have to know anything about D&D to do this book tag. So if it sounds interesting to you, just go for it. I like to live my life on hard mode. So I decided that I want to answer every single one of these questions with a Forgotten Realms novel. Now if you're not aware, Forgotten Realms is the book series that is set in the D&D universe. It was, the book series was created by the same guy who created D&D. So books about Forgotten Realms adventures there's a lot of them. Let's see if we can answer all of these questions. Now I will tell you, I've obviously gone through this and picked out the books. Some of these, some of these you really can't answer with Forgotten Realms novels. So I'm going to do my best and you just have to accept my best. So question number one, everybody's dead. A character with a tragic backstory. I feel like the obvious answer here is dreads. Like, this man has a tragic backstory. He was born as the third son into a matriarchal family of evil drow. And the third living son is always sacrificed to Loth, the goddess Loth, uh, because men are worthless in this society, basically. The only reason he lives is because his elder brother is killed in a house battle, like, literally at the moment of his birth. So he is spared and now he is the second son instead of the third son and uh, goes on to live a life of misery and abuse. Very, very beloved character in the D&D universe. Uh, so that this man just only felt fitting is the answer to the first question. It is the standard tragic backstory for the Forgotten Realms universe. Question number two, role persuasion with advantage, an auto by author. This is one of the questions that's, it's not hard, but there's not much of an answer to it. As far as I know, there is only one author still publishing under the Forgotten Realms title, which is R.A. Salvatore, and he's still writing dress novels. Actually, he might not even be writing anymore. One just came out last year, but I don't know if that's like the end or if he's going to release more later. But I guess that counts as an auto by author, but it feels kind of like a, a cop out because no one else is publishing under the title. Though I feel like any D&D-ish cozy romance that's not set in Forgotten Realms, I'll probably end up reading. I recently read A Fellowship of Bakers in Magic by uh, Jay Pinner. This was a adorable D&D-ish, fantasy-ish romance, uh, but definitely not Forgotten Realms. And I would say that this is an auto by author if I need to expand past Ari Salvatore. Problem number three, me and the boys are gonna mess you up. A ensemble cast that I love. While there are a lot of options 
for this because there are some pretty good ensemble cast in the Forgotten Realms universe. I am going to go with Silverfall by Ed Greenwood. This follows the Seven Sisters of Mistra solving a murder mystery, I think. It's a mystery. I'm not sure if there's a murder involved. But the Seven Sisters are the chosen of the goddess of magic named Mistra. And the book follows this mystery where one sister will investigate the mystery and then pass it along to another sister who continues the investigation and passes it along to the next sister, continues the investigation. And we just kind of go through where each chapter or each section is from a different sister's perspective and uh, girl power. I liked it. This is one of my all-time favorite books. Question number four. I rolled a one. A character that tries their best but keeps failing. I kind of have a half answer for this. It's kind of a cheat answer, but it was the only thing I could think of off the top of my head, honestly. I want to say early Danello Thane, right? He is a goofball and an idiot, just an all around like fool of a human being. And he keeps, he wants to be a wizard and he keeps trying, but he just, he's not very good at it. Now, to be fair, it's a cop out answer because he's faking this personality. So Danelle like, purposely comes across as like a idiot dandy, uh, just so no one realizes like how smart and powerful and crafty he actually is. But when you first meet him, you don't really like when we first meet him in the books, he just comes across as like, oh, this sweet boy is trying so hard. He's just not really good at this. So cop out answer, but it, it, yeah, it works. Question number five, roll to tame the floof. A book with a dangerous creature you'd love to have as a pet. Now, there's so many answers to this. Like, I my gut reaction is Winwavar, but you, she's she's not a pet. She's a companion. So I was like, meh. And then I was like, do I really want a giant spider as a pet? No, not really. You know what I do want as a pet? A dinosaur. I want a Triceratops as a pet, and I feel like a Triceratops is probably pretty dangerous. This book, the fifth book in the Harper series, The Ring of Winter, uh, just takes place in a jungle and uh, a lost city with like rampaging dinosaurs. Like, is there a point to the dinosaurs? No, but I want a dinosaur as a pet, and that answers the question. Question number six, DM rolls unexpectedly a book that surprises you. To be fair, pretty much all of these books have like the same outline to them and they're written the same way. So uh, you know people are going to go on an adventure and it's going to have a happy ending. So uh, it, it's hard to be surprised at a Forgotten Realms novel, I feel. I also think like, yeah, I've, I've been surprised. Um, a couple of times. So for this I'm gonna go with the end of Boundless. Now I can't tell you why I was surprised by this uh, because it's a huge spoiler but if you've read this book you'll know what happens at the end of it and you're like wait what? <laughs> but that that can't happen. They're, they're gonna fix this in the next book right? Right? So uh, yeah say this one surprised me. Question number seven. I would like to rage a character with anger issues. Now I can say like any bad guy at all. <laughs> There's so many options for this but I kind of want to go with the funny option and I am going to say Ivan Boulder Shoulder from the Cleric Quintet. Uh, I'm holding up the book here but I'm gonna overlay a cover on it because I don't I, my copy just doesn't have a cover. <laughs> Ivan uh gets angry a lot. He is a, a dwarven cook um 
and yeah, he uh, has a short fuse, and but it's funny. It's not like bad guy short fuse. It's a uh, funny dwarf gonna charge into a wall with his forehead kind of fuse. Question number eight. Hip thrust for seduction. A spicy book. There are no spicy books in the Forgotten Realms novels. So I struggled with this question, but I have some fantastic information for you and then a non-Forgotten Realms answer. First, my fantastic information is apparently in the Dungeons and Dragons heyday, TSR released a six book series of choose your own adventure romances based in the Forgotten Realms. <laughs> these these are the covers. I would buy one and like read it, but they're like stupid expensive. So I'm just gonna share them with you and let you know that there are choose your own adventure D&D romances <laughs> with these amazing 1980s covers. But given the information that uh, there is no there, there's no spicy, there's no rope. I mean, there's romance in Forgotten Realms. There's plenty of romance, but it's all fade to black romance. I'm gonna say Legends and Lattes is my personal answer, uh, just because this is like, like Legends and Lattes is like an adventure, like D and D, like world. I mean, it's not actual D and D, but it's it's similar, and uh, there's a there's a romance. It's cozy. I don't know if they actually like is is it? I can't remember if it's fade to black or not. I think it might be Fade to Black in this one too, and this is still not a good answer. I... I am not your go-to person for spicy, I'm sorry. I failed everybody with that question. Final question, question number nine, is how do you want to do this? A book with a satisfying ending. Again, all of the endings are satisfying. Like that's the point is they all have like that happy ending or at least the end of like if it's a trilogy, the trilogy has a happy ending even if the book itself doesn't. Uh, so I'm gonna go a little bit off the wall and say this trilogy, uh, Chandra's Saga, Hand of Fate is the specific last book in this trilogy. Let's just say that I really, really like it when a main character dies and uh, some romance is like completely ruined because one of the couple is dead at the end of the book. I might be a bad person, but I enjoy that in books and you don't see it very often, but you see it in here. Sorry for the spoilers. And that is it. That is uh, the end of my D&D book tag. Let me know if y'all think I did an okay job. I will see you next week for another video. Bye!